everyone, it's Miss Teresa, and I'm here to read a great St. Patrick's Day story. So let's get nice and comfy, and let's see what we have. Today's story is called How to Catch a Leprechaun. How to Catch a Leprechaun by Adam Wallace, illustrated by Andy Elkerton. The night is dark. The streets are quiet. St. Patrick's Day is near. I'll tap my hammer so you'll know the leprechaun is here. And if we look right in front of that leprechaun are some shamrocks. Keep your eye out for those shamrocks. <gasps> I'll pull out your laces, put glitter in your hair, and when you walk around, you'll see my gold coins everywhere. It doesn't look like someone is very happy to have glitter in her hair. You'll never catch me in your trap, but yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down. Your toilet will be green. <gasps> oh no, that leprechaun, he's very naughty. The tub's overflowing, the toilet is green, and there are handprints on the wall. And do we see those shamrocks? Yeah, there they are, right on the floor. House number one, I'm going in. Really? That's your trap? I'm in and I'm out without a doubt. That one was a snap. There he goes leaving behind those shamrocks and a gold coin. And now, now I think it's getting worse. A shoebox on a stick? I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. Let's see, do you see the leprechaun? Yeah, there he is right outside the window. Another house, I fixed your shoes. They really were quite smelly. I'll eat the nuts you left as baits and leave with a full belly. Look what he did to those shoes, they're in the sink. And there he is, a couple of gold coins, and of course, do you see them? Yeah, there are the shamrocks. Now you're talking, look at this. It's dandelion tea, but I'm too speedy for your trap. This tea is mine for free. If we look, do we see his hand grabbing that tea? And shamrocks and let's see, one, two, three gold coins. I know you want my pot of gold. That iron cage was clever but I've been alive 200 years. You won't catch me ever. Uh-oh, it looks like our friend there has caught himself in the, in the cage, not the leprechaun. But there are those shamrocks and two gold coins. Ha 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 ha! Now you're getting fancy, but I'll escape with twinkle toes it's a fancy pansy dancy. Uh-oh, look at our little girl. She's trying to catch him by using a slingshot and unicorns, but no luck. It seems to me an engineer has helped with this design. Too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. Uh-oh, if we look, it looks like Dad made a terrific trap, but caught himself. He knocked himself on the head with that bowling ball, not the leprechaun. Your entire house is one big trap, from the ceiling to the floor. Nice try indeed, but soon enough, I'll stroll right out the door. Ooh, I don't know. This looks like a very tricky house. 
Let's see if that leprechaun could get out. The leprechaun be gone 3,000 gave me quite a scare. But without a four-leaf clover, I won't be caught in there. Wow, it looks like the leprechaun got through that house but made a big mess. And no clovers, no shamrocks left behind. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible, that's a fact. Unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect trap. But who will that child be? It looks like they're working out quite the plan. Better luck next year. There's our leprechaun. Do we see that big bag of gold? Yeah, it looks like he's planning for next year already. The end. All right, I hope you enjoyed our story. I know I sure did. Those leprechauns can be tricky or have lots of fun or live in a mushroom. But until next time, we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.